In today's video we will discuss the history of the street gang on Chicago's west side known as the C-Notes who were a farm team for the Chicago outfit in the 80s and 90s. The C-Notes have one of the most interesting histories of any of the active Chicago street gangs. The C-Notes are indeed the oldest organization on the streets today. The C-Notes had their beginning in the year 1950 in the area known as the Patch which is located around Smith Park which is within the West Town neighborhood on Chicago's west side. When the C-Notes were formed they would eventually settle at the intersection of Ohio and Levitt in the patch which is where notorious Chicago outfit boss Joey the Clown Lombardo moved in with his family in the year 1951. Sometime during the 1950s Joey the Clown became a made man and became a part of the outfit. Lombardo was well known in the neighborhood and always had a good relationship with the C-Notes. It is a coincidence that right around when Lombardo moved here the C-Notes started up. I don't know exactly who founded the C-Notes but legend has it the founder liked $100 bills and always had them in his pocket. The early history of the C-Notes existence is cloudy because of how far back in time the C-Notes began. Many members of the C-Notes in the 1950s and 1960s graduated to outfit associates as long as they were of Italian ancestry. Two such notorious mentors are Paul Coro Luke and Albert Albi the Falcon Vina who were both C-Notes at one time. Vina was a C-Note back in the early 1960s to early 1970s. Coral Luke was one in the 1970s. These men made the news a few years ago when the authorities busted in on their burglary ring and other business. From 1950 to 1958 the C-Notes were not a gang on the streets wearing sweaters etc. It was a club of older men that later became part of the Chicago outfit for the most part. It was in the year 1958 when C-Notes began taking in Italian youths and some Hispanic youths and a C-Notes gang was created. To be honest I don't even know if the C-Note name even existed before 1958 but if it did it sure wasn't known on the streets. The area was mob controlled by the Grand Avenue crew but the main threat was the C-Notes because they were the guardians of that neighborhood south of East Village. That concludes the early history of the C-Note street gang. If you would like to read more about them I will leave a link to an article which discusses more about them. Thank you for watching. If you have any video suggestions please leave them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe.